Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades. Today I'm going to do something just a little bit different. It's going to be a bottle bottom pour, but I am using the bottom of a pineapple juice bottle. And it does have kind of a deep indention there. So I'm going to hot glue the lid over that hole. And there we have it sealed. Funny story about this. My daughter wanted some homemade punch and pineapple juice is one of the ingredients. And I poured it in. She tossed the bottle in the trash can. And in a few minutes I happened to walk by the trash can, saw that bottle bottom and I was like, oh yes. So I pulled it out of the trash and she was laughing. She said, I knew you were going to do that. So she knows me pretty well. So I'm going to use Deco Art Metallic Berry and uh, Deco Art Gold, Artist Loft Black and Artist Loft Titanium White. I am pouring on a eight by 20. Uh, it's already coated with a base coat of white. And we're starting off with the berry metallic. Next, a layer of white. And then we'll go with the black. Finishing it off with a layer of gold. It's at this point that I noticed how close it was getting to the edges. And so I decided on the next layer, I would only do it on the three petals on each side of the long side of the canvas. So we're putting a layer of berry down and white, layer of black, and finishing up with gold. So now the trick will be to get that bottle bottom off of the canvas without dripping all over. And we did it. It's a mighty big space there in the center. I did try tilting a little bit. Didn't move the paint a whole awful lot. I use the skewer and drag some of it into the center. And then started tilting again. And as you can see, the paint in the center was about all that moved. And tried several different times to move it and it wasn't going anywhere on the edges so I added some additional base and tried tilting again once again the center was about all that moved and I was afraid that I was going to lose the whole design if I kept trying to force it so I let it rest for a little bit and I did scoop some of the paint out of the center, added a lot more base to the edges. And this is the dried results. So it uh, dried beautifully. I did add the little bit of berry and white in the very center of the flower got some cells there there was no silicone in my paint so the cells coming up was a happy surprise I do like the way this dried I think once I add the high gloss uh, varnish to it that it will really make all those colors pop even more so if you have enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up if you have not done so yet let me invite you to subscribe to my channel 
If you ring that bell, you'll get notifications of future videos that I upload. And I want to thank you immensely for watching this video. Until next time, bye-bye.